Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We have Daniel in here with us this afternoon, and Daniel comes in here complaining of some really severe lower back pain that shoots down both legs all the way into his plantar surface of his foot. Uh, he's got a lot of muscle spasms down in his thoracolumbar spine and lumbosacral spine. Bilateral ribcage pain that emanates from his thoracic spine, the mid-thoracic and upper thoracic spine. Neck pain and stiffness, mostly stiffness in his neck. But he's got pain also bilaterally in his sacroiliac joints. Now, Daniel had a laminectomy discectomy back in 2018, right? Right. He doesn't have any hardware in his spine. I just looked at his MRIs, both before the surgery and after the surgery. He still has a herniation at L4, L5, and somewhat down at L5S1, but the L5S1 is more degenerative disc. But this is, this is where differential diagnosis comes in. After doing his history and examination, which we've already done, by the way, I found that his sacrum and sacroiliac joints are subluxated quite a bit as well. And lumbosacral radiculopathy and sciatica can come from the sacrum and the sacroiliac joints, the same as if it came from the lumbar spine. And they've been focusing medically on his lumbar spine. You've even said you had stem cell injections and PRP injections, and they tried to do radio frequency on you. Thank God you turned that down. <laughs> but I mean, he's been through pretty much the medical gamut to try to get fixed. Is, would that be a fair assessment, Daniel? Absolutely. And he's coming here kind of as the last resort, right? Right. Because he saw us on YouTube and saw me. I'm sure the ring dingers what, flipped your switch, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. That's what people that have lumbar spine injuries and sacroiliac injuries, they instinctively know that this is going to help them. So, this is his very first adjustment here at Advanced Chiropractic Release. So, we're going to show you how a severe lumbosacral and sacroiliac patient feels following their very first adjustment. And this is the this first time I've seen him, too. So... Uh, again, we're going to be adjusting him and playing this by just step by step. Okay, close your eyes and bend your head forward and backwards for me again there, Daniel. I'm going to show them your posture as well. Back to neutral. Okay, his head is way forward in the Z-axis. It's all the way out here over his clavicle. Should be back here over his shoulders. That's why his shoulders are starting to round forward a little bit. and His hands are out in front of him like this as opposed to being squared off and back to his sides. Uh, pelvis has shifted left on the x-axis. You can see he has less room here than he does over here. His head is forward, translated to the left, but tilted and rotated to the right. So he's got translations on the x-axis. He's got translation on the z-axis forward. He's got rotation on the y-axis, negative theta y cervical up here as well. So since this is his very first adjustment, I'm going to lay him back on this biophysics table and adjust his spine here first. Let's go in, you tell me. Can you move that chair over a little bit? Oh, sure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't want to fall. Oh, oh <laughs> And as you can see, just from looking at his spine, it's higher on this entire left side all the way down into his SI joint region. Mind if I lift this up? Mm -hmm. Show them your scars. You've been putting some suction tups on there, huh? I have. I don't do really much for you except give you hickeys. <laughs> See, he's got bilateral muscle spasm from his lumbosacral region all the way up into his thoracolumbar spine. I'm not seeing a very big scar there, though, Daniel. Yeah, it was small. Tiny, huh? Did they go in through the front or the back? The back. Well, I don't even see a scar there. That's pretty good. So I'm going to start off adjusting his SI joint. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to drop this piece out here, Daniel. I'm going to start off with your left SI joint, which the left one is short by half an inch. You got even when I brought his legs up, positive knockless and deer field on the left. So I'm going to start off on his uh, left SI joint. As you can tell, that's painful. Uh, yep. There. A little deeper in person, huh? Yeah. There it is. That's oh. the sacrum. See, I drove your sacrum straight down inside oh. of this SI joint. That'll help take that pressure off the nerves there. Oh. Yep. Oh. Oh. There we go. You okay? Oh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now, look at there, though. See his legs even now already? Tell me if this feels any easier yet, Daniel. 
Mm-hmm. Imagine that. You okay? Yeah. Okay, keep breathing. It'll feel better when it quits hurting. There you go. Mm-hmm. That's it. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath on me. There you go. All right. Now, since you liked all the rest of that so far, I'm going to stick my elbow in there and really help you. This is one of my hurt so good treatments. Keep breathing. Tell me if you need me to quit. You okay? Hey, let me tell you, this type of low back pain due to lumbosacral and sacroiliac subluxations is no fun because it really pinches on the nerves hard, the muscles go into spasm, and it causes all kinds of functional disabilities. You haven't been able to do much for the past several months, have you? Last year. Last year. Yeah. These are going to be real sore to you. I'm probably not going to like them much after I get done. But you will like me when you feel better. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's the only place in town you can not get beat up, feel better, and pay for it because it's still legal. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. I got to try to throw some light on it, damn you. I'm not trying to your problem. I'm just trying to lighten up the situation a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now let's slowly turn on your back. Slow. <laughs> What's that? I said you won't have any problem with slow. Uh, oh. I should feel a little bit better already. Uh, this feels Dude. looser. Yep. I'm just getting started too. Uh, there we go. Slide down this way about an inch and put both arms straight out sideways, palms facing up. There you go. Get your shoulders, your clavicles, your anterior ribs here. There we go. You can relax your hands right there on your tummy. I need you to let this right leg kind of go like a limp rag in my hand here. Okay, you got to breathe though. You can't be holding your breath. Oh. Now, you should have felt that from your knee all the way up oh. to your low back. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. You will be. Okay, keep breathing. Mm-hmm. There we go. Okay. Didn't hurt me a bit. <laughs> yeah. Sideways. Yeah, do sideways. Yeah. Sideways. Yeah. That's Jared. That's a perfect way to get up. Go ahead and scoot back over this way just a little bit. There you go. Okay, I'm just going to adjust your shoulders here. Keep your chin up. I noticed you drop your chin down a lot. You see him doing that a lot with his head down? So when he does that from now, I mean, you slap him upside the head and tell him it's for me. Straighten up. Because we got to get his head up over his spine or he's going to stress out his lumbar spine even more. See, when you're forward like this in flexion, that causes increased weight bearing compression, stress on your disc, they bulge backwards. That's where the nerves are and you're going to hurt worse. So keep your chin up. It's a hard habit to change, but once you do it, you'll feel the difference. There we go. Yep. Boy, you just noisy all over. <laughs> okay. Dan, are you sure you're going to be able to handle the big ring dinger here? I hope so. I do too. <laughs> the one this way. We've had plenty of screams in here today. Everybody laughed at her. Let me let this down a little bit. Oh, yeah, you're fine, Michelle. <laughs> this is lovely wife Michelle. She came in here for support, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. Elvis here, head up this way. Do you make you do the driving too? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so on the way home, I'm gonna want you to get some crushed ice at one of these stores. Get you a big gulp full of crushed ice. Renee's gonna give you a plastic baggie. Stick that right on the skin. I see you're shaking there. Yeah, it's, it's all right. It's nervous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, let your legs try to relax. Try not to bounce them because the table will feel that and go back down. Yeah, just deep breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. That'll relax you a little bit more. No, deep breath in through your nose, slowly out through your mouth. You, I don't want you to moss breathe. Better to do slow, deep breathing. Now that's the interesting right there. That's a clonic reaction. You see that? Okay. You okay? Yeah. You sure? Cold? Or are you just nervous? Both, okay. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So I'm going to wrap this 
tail around your skull and around your mandible. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose for me. I want you to wiggle your left big toe. That's right there. Yes, sir. That's the home run. Oh. I bet you that wasn't as bad as you thought it was going to be. You're lying. <laughs> You don't get left a man insurance policy yet. <laughs> <laughs> now you felt that all the way down, didn't you? Yeah. Good. There you go. Oh yeah. Very nice. Okay, I'm gonna let your legs down slowly. Now when you get up again, turn sideways and get up. Push yourself up with your arm. And then we're gonna have you stand over here in front of the mirror again. Now that should feel a little better right now. Yeah. Does it? Feel looser, that's for yes, sure. Yes, sir. Good. Feel like a little lighter too? Yeah. Yeah. Well, take a look in the mirror. Get out of the way, Renee. See there? Your head's not so far translating and focus to the right. You got more equal spacing down here now as well. So I'm going to show your homework after I get done relaxing these muscles with this instrument. This is a Arthur stem, and I'm bouncing his muscle spindles on both sides of his spine, paraspinal soft tissues or paraspinal muscles. This will help those muscles relax a little bit more. Now I'm gonna have you in the mirror image, hold your shoulders up and back. So these guys like this, palms forward. Okay, see your head forward and right, so we're gonna come straight back, translate left, then look backwards at the wall behind you. No, that's the ceiling. There it is. There you go. Okay, so try that forward and backwards again. And this should feel smoother in your upper back right now, Daniel, on your neck. Good. Well, walk around on your low back for a second. And tell me how that feels compared to the 8-9 when you came in here. It was looser. What number should that be? Compared um, to 8 I'd probably say a, a three. Okay, great. Well, that's 50% better already. Yeah. Yep. How would you rate your leg pain at all, if any? Oh, feeling leg pain. Uh, do you have any cramps right now anywhere? Back or your legs? No. Uh, how about your mid and upper back right now? Feels good. You're shaking like a leaf. <laughs> yeah, okay. I, just, I think I had this shock. <laughs> well, I'm in the shocker doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Any rib cage pain on either side? How about your neck right now? I don't feel any pain. So you don't have a shake and you don't have a headache. <laughs> How, do you feel any pain down your sacrum or your sacroiliac joints on either side at this moment? No. You sure? Okay, good. That's a good sign. Is there anything going on in your body right now besides sore and better. And those are the two things I would expect you to feel after this adjustment, sore, but also better. I was just gonna say I feel sore. <laughs> You'll be sore for about 72 hours. Yeah. That's okay though. If we didn't do anything, you wouldn't be sore. Um, it's gonna be kind of like you went to the gym for the first time and you hadn't worked out in a while, it's gonna be sore for three days. At home, crushed ice in a little Ziploc freezer baggie right on the skin over whatever sore for 20 minutes. Don't ever put heat on any of this stuff. Okay. You haven't been using heat pad, I hope. I, it doesn't usually make me feel any better. So well, it I, actually makes things worse. Okay. I hate heat. Heat's contraindicated in what condition you have. Inflammation. Crushed ice <laughs> right on the skin for 20 minutes. But don't, don't leave it on longer than 20 minutes because it has a reverse physiological effect and will cause more inflammation if you leave it on too long. Okay. So 20 minutes exactly, set you a little eight timer or clock or something. And if you see him doing this all the time, again, you slap him upside the head and tell him it's for me, straighten up. Because this here, right here, just this, that reverses this cervical curve. That adds additional weight-bearing compressive stress all the way down into your lumbar spine. So I just want you to keep that chin and head up. Take in deep breaths in through your nose and then out through your mouth. If you do that a few times in a row, you'll stop shaking. See, it's already calmed down. Yeah. See? See, breathing's super important for pain. Because if you hold your breath, you're actually gonna hurt worse, and that's when you start shaking too when you're holding your breath. Better, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, right now I'm gonna show him how to walk down the hallway and seal this adjustment in better. So you'll hold this adjustment at first here, and you also hold it longer if you do this for 10 minutes before you stop and get in your car and go home. Uh, so walk around the floor a couple times each way or around the building once or twice each way. 
for 10 minutes. So no longer than 10 minutes or no less than 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Let me show you how I want you to walk. I want you to walk heel toe, heel toe, pushing off your toes with your arms swinging freely like a fast walker race would. Look, you notice my head's up? My head, chin's up. So here, watch me walk back around that way. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. In fact, you can walk like that right now too. Push off your toes. See, watch me. See, I'm pushing off my toes. You'll feel that working out in the lumbosacral deep paraspinal muscles. That's the intrinsic muscles of your lumbar spine. That will strengthen up your lumbosacral spine and your sacroiliac joints as well. For 10 minutes right after you're done. And for, for all you watching this, that is how I want every single patient who leaves this office to walk for 10 minutes so they can change the neuroplasticity in your cerebellum to start remembering this alignment rather than the one you've adapted to over the time. Because that's what the whole thing is. I'm going to try to readapt your environment to this newly biomechanical configuration that we're in rather than the one you've adapted to already. And that'll probably take two or three visits. Okay. So if you can make it back up here for a follow-up next week, that'd be sure. great. Yeah, let's come back over here for a sec. Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, hug here. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's standing up straight already. Yeah, I could tell when he got uh, done with the... Uh, that deep breathing to help you a lot. So what would you share with our crack addicts worldwide about your very first experience here at Advanced Chiropractic? Um, it was a shock, but uh, worth it. It was, uh, I feel looser. So hopefully that continues. Yeah. yeah, it will. As long as you do what I tell you to do, it will continue. And you can't be sleeping on your stomach and your side though you gotta sleep on your back with your legs up like i had you on this table with a box or something or clothes basket flipped upside down something solid to hold your legs up i know that seems weird but that really works if you go home tonight though and lay on the floor put your legs up on the couch for 20 minutes 30 minutes that'll get you started being used to that and that's also part of the neuroplasticity process of changing your environmental biomechanical issues very good. Do you have any questions for me? None. Well, thank you for coming thank to you. Advanced Chiropractic Relief and Appreciate having the that. trust and faith yeah. in us to come thank here. You. And since you got your first ring dinger today, you're the newest member of Team Ring Dinger. So welcome to the team, thank Daniel. Thank you. Appreciate you're it. welcome. Well, thank you all for watching. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief, where we see severe, severe serious spine issues like this every day, Monday through Wednesday. We'll see you all soon. <laughs>